Okay, do you see remote work as helping to spur innovation or as an obstacle to innovation? Take a second, think of that Jeopardy music and uh, we'll let our panelists respond to the results. I would hum it, Michael, but no one wants to hear that. No, and I, I wouldn't do it right. Okay, we'll give this about a, another 10 seconds. All right. And Chris Gates, we're gonna let you go first on the reaction to the, to the remote work. And then I think we have to go to Intel since they're empowering all this. All right, ending the poll and sharing results. Wow, 50% of you say remote work is good for innovation, 14 16%, not so much, and about a third are undecided. Chris, how do you read that and what do you think? Yeah, I, I would, uh, you know, being on the panel, I'm not able to vote, but I would have absolutely voted for that. I think um, innovation is being, being accelerated by being remote. We're able to put a lot of diversity of thought together um, that wouldn't typically come and talk about problems um, and how we solve them. Uh, typically, you get group think, I think, when you're in the same real estate building, the same region. Um, and what we're seeing is as long as we're able to use a remote technology appropriately and have processes for people to be able to collaborate like we are today, um, it's an accelerant for us. We, we get a lot of diversity of thought um, applying their, their time to uh, critical problems. All right, thanks for that. Abdul, what, what, what's your thought on it? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add uh, to, to the diversity of thought. I'm gonna say this, the, the virtual environment has allowed us to be um, a lot more inclusive. You know, um, back in the days when you are actually sitting in, a, in an office and you're meeting with people in a room, half the team is not there or in a different country, different part of the world and feel, don't feel included. Now with technology, I'm able to have everyone join in where we use highly collaborative tools like Microsoft Teams or Slack, there's other you know, tools out there that allows us to carry on conversations and, and have discussions you know, on those tools where everybody has access to them and is able to be part of that conversation and contribute. So I would say, in addition to the diversity, I think technology is enabling better inclusive environments for collaboration and for everyone's voice to be heard and, and to just be part of that, um, part of the effort. So that's what I'm... All right, let me go, thanks for that, Abdul. Jamal, let me go to you before Phyllis. I mean, how is remote work, you know, looking in the neighborhood? Is it relevant? Is it, is it an opportunity or not? I'm just gonna play devil's advocate and say that um, I think that, uh, you know, when it comes to, you gotta actually be inside of the currency exchange to, to see how they shackle the ink pens to the table, to be, you know, to see how that's an injustice. You know, you have to actually be inside the currency exchange to see how they talk to you behind a three inch bulletproof glass window. And then they charge you 3% on your money. Like who's really being robbed here? You know, like, I think that you have to hear the conversations. Like, I think, you can be online all you want, but when you actually are in the community and you hear the helicopters wake you up in the morning, when you see the police turn their lights on when you're not doing nothing wrong, when you see those things, I think that when, then you actually become more than empathetic. You become compassionate. You want to do something about it. So I think being online is, is, is great, but I think that um, when you actually show up, it, uh, um, it inspires the other people that are already doing the work to let, you, let them know like, oh, we see you and we want to do more. You know? so I think you got to show up still. You got to show up in the neighborhood. Good, good stuff. Phyllis, last word on this. What about rem remote work, remote learning? You're an advocate. Yeah, I am, but not 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 all remote. And I, I don't think all remote works. Um, in fact, you know, Harvard has a great study about hybrid learning is the best way. All all in person and all remote is doesn't doesn't work. I think the key going forward is flexibility. Um, I think there is a, a you know, look, human touch, engagement, especially when you're trying to innovate, those, um, those uh, you know, unplanned collisions, uh, the spark ideas and collaboration, I think are really important uh, that we can trade off in the physical context. I think the other thing we need to uh, consider as we think about filling the talent gap in Chicago, especially with technology um, skills, 
the you know what scares me a bit is that you you know companies can source anywhere it doesn't matter where you're from so when we think about how we're really sourcing uh, career opportunities job opportunities again in the fast growing tech space for black and brown children in this in this city you know companies feel like leo i can i can get that those resources anywhere now so i i you know there's a balance here that you know if if we're not careful this um you know co complete focus on remote uh, teach, uh, uh, you know, work could actually exacerbate inequities. So I think there's a balance that we've got to reach. I'm